create a Facebook account to apologize to the wider Singaporean community. Good. Hello, everybody. This is Chris Sal from Chris Taman, and I hope you have a wonderful day. So not too sure whether you all remember about but one month ago right there this guy who insulted a interracial couple at Orchard Road lah, okay so I believe this guy turned out to be a lecturer in our one of the local polytechnic uh, Nian Polytechnic and because of that viral video uh, he became so famous uh, huh, that the polytechnic decided to what, 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 fire him off lah. <laughs> so now he is a ex lecturer already okay and then if you think that that is the only incident uh, whereby he become a bit racist or he claimed that he is racist uh, okay actually no you know no you know ah so apparently right, during his uh, polytechnic teaching uh, years right he also talked about religion stuff like uh, in his class apparently that is not part of the lesson plan uh, you know so you can see uh, since that time right he already his mind uh, already a bit racist already you know ah so but then today, oh, 9 July, oh, something very special happened. You know, our this uh, ex-lecturer decided to apologize uh, not just to the couple or their family, but to the wider uh, Singaporean community uh, whose heart uh, buchu, 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 has been hurt uh, by his words and action that day. Uh. So before I show you all uh, how our this ex-lecturer uh, apologize, uh, okay? If you are new to my channel, uh, uh, like as usual, uh, please don't be paise, go and click the subscribe button. Huh? Click one time can, uh, don't click two times later, you unsubscribe, okay? And then you see the bell button there, uh, this bell button, uh, okay? It's FOC one, just click it, okay already. Uh, don't worry, so that you'll be notified uh, of any new videos uh, that I will be doing that. Uh. Our ex lecturer, uh, he actually apologizes through a letter uh, to the media via a law firm that he engaged. He also uh, was very digitalized. Uh, or I must say, uh, he also very digitalized. He actually created a Facebook account just today only, on the 9th of July, to apologize to the public. Personally, I felt he already know his mistake and he is willing to correct them. Of course, I must give him a chance. Okay, there's a Chinese saying la, 知错能改,善莫大言 Wow, suddenly I feel I got so much more sweat, so much ink Okay, but having said that la, uh, though must give him a chance But he still did a mistake ma Bo, he did a mistake right? Did a mistake, wow, must be punished one I mean, come on la, all you like You all went small time la, wow, you all do something wrong Your parents also will punish you first right? Punish you, then they sayang you ma, right? Correct right? So same thing here Okay, I believe our this ex lecturer uh, must be punished by the law uh. After he has done the correct punishment uh, oh, okay, then let's give him a chance to re-accept him back to the society. What do you all think? Uh? So apparently uh, our ex lecturer say that uh, okay, whatever happened, uh, what happened that day uh, during his confrontation with that uh, interracial couple uh, was something out of his character. He also said that he has been struggling uh, with some personal matter uh, that had caused him so much grief and pain. Uh. Okay, of course, he did not tell us uh, okay, what is this personal matter that he has been struggling with uh, that caused him so much grief and pain. But I think viewers out there, you all can aga aga guess already. Okay, what is this personal matter? Because it is so tun tun uh, that, you know, because of this, I uh, you know, saw that couple, then he suddenly just trigger off and then you can aga aga guess already now uh, what is the personal matter that he's struggling with. But he also say, uh, neither or less or regardless or whatever, uh, okay, his personal matter is his personal matter. Okay, those are not excuses for his action that day. That's why he apologized to the couple and their family. And now, okay, he want to apologize to the wider Singaporean community who might be hurt uh, by his words and accent that day. Uh. So as y'all can see from the Facebook post, uh, wow, he said that he actually never have a Facebook account before. Uh. <laughs> oh, seriously, uh, this one shocked me a bit. Uh, okay, I thought that he is the Facebook generation, uh, same as me. Uh, but then apparently, uh, he's not. Uh, he's even more senior than uh, Maybe he belongs to the Friendster generation. Uh, okay, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is, uh, he actually started this, uh, created this uh, Facebook account uh, so that he can use it to openly uh, apologize to the public. Uh. And then in his Facebook post, uh, he also said that he is deeply sorry uh, for what he has said that day. 
with all this, I can feel that okay lah, there's some sincerity lah in in uh in that he wants to apologize. Then what's more lah, okay, you see his uh, Facebook account right? There are also a lot of signs lah, or a lot of things that he has done lah, to show to people that he is very sincere in apologizing. So what I do, take a look ah, if you take a look at his uh, profile photo lah, okay, his profile photo, okay, it's actually a white hand and the black hand shaking hand together. What this mean? I mean, it kind of tell me that he's now willing to accept uh, differences uh, working together like, in harmony. La, okay. Then secondly, you can see the cover picture. La. Whoa, la, wow. This one, bad. The, the signal is very strong. He said that I'm sorry. So definitely it means that he is sorry already. Okay, he wants to apologize. Then also you see his destination. Now he's called what? Former senior lecturer. Uh, why must have senior that one seriously I don't know lah okay this is not a job interview so you put senior don't put senior there also no difference right? people just need to know that you are a lecturer from the uh, polytechnic canyon right tio bo, tio bo, uh, tio right. so I really don't know why he want to put the word senior there but the fact that he put the word former I think he want to tell people that he has already received his punishment lah. okay one form of punishment which is gonna terminated by the polytechnic but then oh to people uh, who don't know the full story, uh, right, they may thought that he self resigned only one, uh, he'll now become former. I know a lot of people like to put X what la, former what la, you know, when they resign. Uh. So it, it, this, this one doesn't really show much. La, you know, but the first two, yeah, I agree. The shaking hand one uh, and the oh, big, big, I'm sorry, the one, I totally agree. I can get the message. Alama, you mean you don't know what have happened? Oh, where are you? Where have you been? Ayo. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Let me, uh, in a few words, tell you what exactly has happened. Okay. So, apparently, one month ago, uh, about one month ago, uh, there's this viral video taken by the girlfriend uh, that actually shows uh, our this ex actor, uh, he own self say uh, he is racist. Well, I don't know why people will say that. Uh, okay. But he say that he is racist. Okay. And he also say, uh, that the boyfriend uh, from his own perspective uh, from the ex-lecturer perspective uh, okay he's an indian guy uh, okay he said that he is also racist the boyfriend is also racist because he choose not to marry an indian lady who is of his same race but rather date a chinese lady who is of a different race so because of this right uh, he said that the boyfriend is a racist person also uh, which Ay, to be very frank, I also don't know what it means. Uh, but anyway, that is the viral video uh, that make our uh, this uh, ex settler like uh, so famous. Uh. Then of course uh, our Mata be informed of this uh, case already ma. So now they have to investigate. Uh. In fact, uh, our Mata also investigating another case whereby a former student of the polytechnic uh, said that our uh, this ex settler uh, Okay, he actually made some uh, religious comment uh, okay, uh, back in 2017 in class la, that makes everybody very uncomfortable and is totally uncalled for. La. So the police now is investigating these two cases uh, on uh, this uh, ex lecturer. Then the body also, ma, you know the body uh, wow, got so many things happening. They cannot just sit there and watch the show. Ma. So they also started this internal investigation. Uh. So when the internal investigation is ongoing, they actually suspended our this uh, ex lecturer. Then once uh, the investigation, internet investigation, is concluded, uh, they actually hiya pa fire him off. La. Anyway, I have uh, put the link uh, to the Facebook post uh, in the description below la. So later, y'all, when you free, uh, y'all can go and take a look. After y'all take a look at it, uh, okay. Please let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment below, okay? Alright, that's it for this video. So if you like this video, please remember to share it with your friends, uh, okay? Even if you don't like this video, also remember to share it with your friend, uh, okay? Sharing only, ma. Sharing is caring, ah. Uh, remember that. Okay, and then if really, really you like this video, okay, please give it a big, big thumbs up, okay, give it a big, big thumbs up. If you don't really, really like this video, just give it a thumbs up also, okay, la, can, okay. And then if you're new to my channel, like I said, please don't be paise, I will not bite you one. Just go and click the subscribe button, click once, can or don't click twice later, you unsubscribe. Then you also see the bell button there, right? Uh, that one is FOC one, uh, please go and click it so that you'll be notified of any new videos that I will be doing. La. So till my next video please stay safe and wear your mask when you go out okay and this is chris sell signing off